Welcome everybody to your daily surf report. I'm Chris McCleary, December 5th. We're looking at some, mm, well, everyone's looking at the Venus retrograde. Does that show up in the dreams? Let's go ahead and get started. The collective dreams show us a lot what's happening in the collective unconscious because dreams are subconscious. And so these are the dream words that are most common in today's dreams. Let's look at the red arrows. This is all about time, especially the past. 2014, days, April, were, had, ancient. And then the segmented arrows are told, uh, told flew, and fan. The words aren't important. It's just that they're past tense. That's the reason why I put them in segmented arrows. So the meme in the red is past. Now, how common is a past year put into the DreamBot run? Not very often at all. This is a special occasion, and I don't think there's any coincidence here. This is the past. And specifically, this is going to go into our experiment, um, which I think I'll, I'll hold off on that because I want to just focus on what we know right now. What we know is that First of all, there's a past meme, and then the blue arrow is shadow, dragon, bone, cave, head. Um, and then even if you want to get in there, transform, that'll be important. What the heck is going on in the collective unconscious? We have past and shadow, past shadow, all right? So here and here, here's the astrology, Venus goes retrograde stationary in uh, Scorpio right now. So what's going on with that? It's a time to reevaluate the relationships. It's a time to experience um, karmic patterns that still need to be worked through. Some people call it a test period or a trial period. And how long is this period? In this case, 40 days. And is there any coincidence that you have all these religions? You know, Jesus had uh, 40 days of test with, I think, the devil in that period or out in the desert or something like that. Is there any coincidence? So this is going to be a trial period. What are we testing? We're testing whether or not we can push through old karmic patterns. We can test whether or not we can not overindulge. This is going to be a very important topic in especially... Um, when we're in Scorpio or when Venus is in Scorpio in a retrograde because you're getting into deep passion. Um, all the taboo topics that you're not allowed to really talk about, that's Scorpio and it's deep. It's very subconscious. So a lot of subconscious material coming in. And when that happens, especially when it's not feeling very good, well, even if it feels uh, it's a positive type emotion, in order to deal with it, because it's very strong, or it can be strong, but subconsciously, you're going to try to overindulge. So that's where the overindulge comes in, and that's also karmic. So remember, while you're working on karmic kind of, uh, kind of material here in the next 40 days, that you're also creating new karma. So uh, we'll talk about how to surf that uh, right now. Let's do it now. So this is the time period we laid out the influence. The influence is the Venus retrograde. And I didn't talk about the five. The five is karma. So the other theme here is karma. It's, karma is always a theme, but five especially because you get luck through high, hard work. But the net result is that we um, are going to be going through these tests. And what I talked about is the tendency to maybe overindulge as a way to um, alleviate the emotions that are coming up. And these emotions could be very much attached to past experiences and past shadows that maybe didn't get worked on properly or needs more honing. But in the end, it's all about profound growth. And the financial piece in here is we're talking about because it's that uh, overindulgence. And that was the theme yesterday. So I find that very interesting that the collective was already kind of on the leading edge of this 
need to overindulge. Just watch yourself. The biggest thing with overindulging is just become mindful. You can watch yesterday's video as well to help, but in, in the Venus retrograde, just take it as it comes. Be very mindful of what's happening to you and realize that in the end you are going to be profoundly um, improved. The better you work through these tests, the better you're going to be home, the stronger you're going to be. Um, so these aren't all bad and they're very karmic. So in, in a, you know, kind of a spiritual sense, they're very intentional. These aren't accidents. None of these are, are accidents. So um, meet everything as it comes. Meet with patience. If you can foster some gratitude through all this, oh boy, you're in the advanced stage. Um, being, gr being grateful is not Pollyannic. I've talked about this before. It's not being Pollyannic where you're ignoring problems, but gratitude is a choice and you can really choose to be grateful for, you know, especially some of the things that might happen in this Venus retrograde. And not only does it change your brain physically, but it eases your body. So it, um, it relaxes you. And so you're not fight or flight during all these stressful situations. It's a very positive thing for your physical body and your emotional well-being and your mental health. During this period, of Venus retrograde is an absolutely wonderful time, especially because of all the subconscious material coming in and your ability to go deeper. It's a wonderful time to go get counseling on the on these areas that you're having real problems with or have especially have had recurring problems. It's an excellent time to do that. I'm a counselor and I'll be um, helping people through those particular problems as well. And, um, and then one other thing, oh, we wanted to talk about the experiment. I want to try to see if the dream bot, remember, I'm going to go back here. Um, and we'll zoom and look at this 2014 and April. I'm wondering, and I don't know because we don't have any of these, any statistics like this, but I'm wondering if the collective unconscious is picking up on April 2014 is an important time period for you or for us collectively in this retrograde period. In other words, what was happening in April 2014 and see whether or not any of those things, any of those themes, any of those trials back then ha are resurfacing in the next 40 days. Just, just look at that. Um, I'm trying to go back through that time period. It's, you know, quite, quite some time ago. So I'm having some hard times differentiating between, you know, like January, February, and March versus April of 2014. But, uh, in, in um, April 2014, Venus was in Cancer, so it was another water sign. So it's almost kind of a, you know, Scorpio is a water, um, Cancer is a water. And so that kind of actually makes sense um, cosmically. But do that for me. Look back and see if you can see whether or not um, you're expecting some sort of resurgence of what was happening in April 2014. I looked in the news for April 2014. There wasn't really anything big. I think there was some sort of um, embargo thing against Russia. And then uh, there, uh, the, the basketball championship. And that, that was on the collective scape. But I'm thinking more personally is going to be more appropriate for you. Just So that's our experiment. See if that works for you. And please let me know. Comment below or get a hold of me somehow. Um, and uh, we'll see if that's a play in the collective dreamscape. Hey, everyone, have a wonderful Venus retrograde. Have a great weekend. Uh, there's some, some changes, so keep watching for the, the stars as, the, as Venus especially goes into Libra, and the, those are relationships too, and it's going to work on the relationships um, some more. So... Pay attention and, and really see um, how that's going to affect you personally. Thanks for being here, everybody. Have a good, great weekend.